Hey guys, this is Bomb speaking here. I'm a StarCraft 2 coach. And today I'm going to be teaching a mech build order that works versus all races. All right, guys, so let's do this build. So game starts. I'm going to set up my cameras on my bases. There we go. Okay, so first thing, set the right point of the door and make that supply, supply depot at 14. There we go. Okay, keep making SCVs at the command center. 15 supply, now you're gonna get a gas, which you, we'll be doing a, a gas first opening, as you can see here. Right, supply depot finishes. Now you want to make 16 the barracks. There we go making SCVs. Now gas finishes, you want to put two SCVs to the gas. And now at 17, you want to go scout. I'm not going to be covering the scouting on this build order because we're just going to focus on this build. Maybe in a in, an, in a, another situation, I might talk about scouting and adapting. Okay, now just keep making SCVs up to 19. There you go. I'm gonna try to play this slow because you guys ask it <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try, man. It's hard, man. It's hard, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so now whenever the barrack finishes, you're gonna make reactor, orbital, and let's go expand. Now let's make a command center. There you go. All right, so now you want to build a factory. Don't build SCV now on the orbital, just throw a mule. Make a, a mule, now wait. Now do a supply depot. And now, after that, you can resume your SCV production. Make two marines now. 50% of your factory, you want to build a second guess. Keep making SCVs. Make Marines, keep producing. Now, whenever the gas finishes, you want to put two SCVs right there. Now, whenever the factory finishes, you want to make a tech lab on it and build a second factory. It's very important. Keep making marines. Orbital from the expansion just did finishes. You want to make a orbital right there right away. The tech lab on the factory on the main base just did finish. We're going to wait soon here and make a siege tank whenever we have the money. Make sure you prioritize SCVs over troops. Now let's make a siege tank. There we go. After six marines, we can switch. Uh, lift the barracks. Now, whenever the orbital from the expansion is about finished, you can start making one supply after the other. Now let's land the factory on the reactor. And now you want to start making widow mines. Siege tank pops. So be mindful where you're going to position that siege tank. All right, that's very important. There you go. Let's make two more Widow Mines. So if, if I'm playing against Zerg, I'm going to position my Widow Mines on the front. But if I'm playing against Terran or Protoss, I'll position on the mineral, uh, mineral line, you know? So yeah. So now, whenever you reach like a 10 to 12 SCVs on the natural, you want to make a third CC and immediately drop down two more gases keep producing make another siege tank so i'm supposing i'm playing zerg here right let's uh actually i think it's zerg yeah yeah we're playing a zerg okay keep making uh keep producing let's make another supply here 
So let's put two SCVs on each gas and keep producing now. Keep producing. Okay, whenever you reach 12 SCVs on the natural again now, you want to build a factory, a starport, and a reactor on the barracks. There you go. And now, whenever you fully saturate the natural, you want to build a armory and a engineering bay. I, I, I've built a little bit early, and that's okay. But don't worry guys, uh, below of the video I'm gonna, you, you will be able to see the entire build I written because I'm gonna leave it written for you so you guys can uh, use this video and also look, look on it in case it's necessary, yeah. Yeah, so now whenever the reactor here finishes, you're gonna switch and put the uh, starport on the reactor. Now you wanna start making very important liberators. Now, very important, very, before you lift your, your third base and go get a new base, you want to make a couple of turrets on the main base here. And on the natural, just to deal with any, any types of drop. Oh, shit. Got supply block right there. But that's fine. Just a few seconds. So now I'm going to get myself to the third base. Let's go right there. Let's throw a supply from the air so we unblock ourselves. Now you can increase the supply production. Uh, keep on two now, two at once, you know. It's very important. Now let's get the third base. Keep making liberators. Let's siege those widow mines. You want to get those guys immediately when you get the third. Let's get plus one attack. Keep making th those um, those supply depots. Keep producing. That you don't want to stop. Okay. Like to siege those liberators. So this build is going to be very micro intensive, you know, because uh, it's mech units, you know, and you have to keep like microing them as they pop, right? Sieging them and stuff. So that's a good amount of Widow Mines, you want to make, make like around 8 to 10, and after that just Hellbats. Let's make also Blue Flame now. Now you can see that I have both bases already fully saturated, right? It's completely saturated. Now what you can start doing is, start getting extra command centers, and if you want, you can start getting extra third layers, especially if you're playing like a, a Terran or Protoss, you know, to deal with drops and stuff, right? Very important, very, very important. Let's make more Liberators now. Okay, keep producing. Now after, usually like uh, after I have like a couple of Liberators, uh, after the 160 supply, I like to get two Thors, you know? It's always good to have uh, two, three Thors in your composition, always good. Okay, there you go. Now three bases are fully saturated. I stop it. Uh, I stop it um, uh, making SCVs. If you want, oh, he's attacking on the right side, as you can see. It's gonna be a easy defend. It's very easy to defend that. There you go. You can see by nine minutes, I have so much already, right? So much. Yeah, let's make two more Liberators. There you go. As you get money, keep uh, keep uh, having mind to always build those extra command centers, and you can also do like turret rings on the top of your army, you know, because they they can serve as like a wall. Does that make sense? Yeah. Make extra turrets here, just to be really really safe. Let's make two more hellbats. It's important that make sure you also get the drilling claws. You can do that, uh, get the blue flame and drilling claws after you fully saturate the third base. It's a good moment. Don't do before because you need a lot of units uh, before. You don't need those upgrades so fast. Right, now I get two more Liberators. 
And now, whenever you 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 got uh, those bases full, uh, uh, like get maxed out, as you can see that I am right now, you can simply go to attack. So one thing that I do, I like to share with you guys, is I put everyone on hotkey one except liberators. I use the technique to steal from the from the control group one it was using the alt, you know. And then the hotkey two, I put my widow mines, but they are also inside the main the main army. So the main army is like a main army is like a everyone except liberators, okay. Uh, hotkey two, I have only widow mines. And hotkey three, I have only liberators. And I put those liberators to follow uh, one of my units. Does that make sense? And now we make this this push here. Whenever, here's uh, another suggestion. Whenever you uh, fully, uh, you get like a, this 200-200 uh, this supply here, you should like get like a two more factories now and one more starport, which I'm gonna do now. So two factories and one more starport. And let's go attack. Remember, when you cross the 50% of the map, you really want to start scanning to identify where the enemy position is. There you go, we can see it. Let's siege right here. And now you can siege also the Liberators as it's necessary, right? Look at that. Man, it's so powerful. If you manage to get this composition, it's so powerful. Uh, there's some air composition that can hard counter this. Like uh, from Protoss, like Void Rays and Terran trying to get air control, but I think it's gonna be great, especially in lower leagues, you know, to you apply this, it's gonna be, I think it's a really good, uh, it's a good, a good style to apply. So that's pretty much, pretty much it, boys. Apply it and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching guys, if you want to learn more, you can book coaching sessions with me through the link below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.